Today, my dad, a Chinese chef, will teach us how to make Cantonese-style steamed fish from the kitchen of our beautiful Verbo. We were able to have a rare family trip to Napa, and my dad will show you just how easy it is to cook a whole fish, even on vacation. First, he'll show you how to prepare the whole fish to get it tasting fresh and delicious. Using a small knife, we'll scrape out any excess fat from the inside of the fish to reduce fishiness when steaming it. We'll also scrape some of the dark red myoglobin off the main spine of the fish. We'll then wash the whole fish with water, inside and out. After washing the fish, we'll use a paper towel to dry it. Here are three tips for choosing fresh fish. Another way to tell if a fish is fresh is by feeling the body. After drying the fish, it's time to break out the cleaver and cutting board. We'll chop the fish tail into a nice shape with two angled cuts. We'll then cut off the side fins on both sides. With our fish all prepared, my dad will show you how he prepares the two flavor enhancing ingredients. We'll first cut thin slices of ginger, about half an ounce or more if you prefer. Then chop those slices into fine strips. Now with five to seven pieces of green onions, we'll cut them into three segments, putting aside the green tops for now. Now back to the ginger. We'll cut another half ounce into thin slices, then cut those slices in half. We'll put those half slices on top of the fish in a line from head to tail. Now, back to the green onions. We'll now carefully chop the lower parts of the green onions lengthwise into fine strips. Cutting just a couple inches from the ends of the green onions, we'll put them on the plate under the fish.
Steamed fish is a super simple dish that's made year round, but it's especially important for Chinese New Year and other festivities because it symbolizes prosperity. Steamed fish is ding yu in Cantonese, and yu, the word for fish, sounds like the word for surplus, as in the Chinese saying ni nin yao yu, meaning having a surplus year after year. Having the whole fish, including the head, may be shocking to the uninitiated, but actually symbolizes the completeness of being with family. We're using tilapia today, but you can use the same recipe for many types of fish, such as striped bass, flounder, or red snapper. In general, you should try to buy fish that's in season, since they will generally be fresher and cheaper. If possible, you should also try to buy fish from sustainable sources. Monterey Bay Aquarium runs a free website called Seafood Watch, which has a bunch of helpful recommendations for sources to buy from or to avoid. Our last ingredient will be for the garnish at the end. Now, my dad will teach you how he makes his own delicious steamed fish sauce. Chow 試試它夠不夠味,啱不啱你的味,搞完之後呢,你覺得它是夠的了,就OK了。Of course, we'll try the sauce. Mm, okay. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. Now we're ready to steam the fish. We'll turn the heat to high and cover the wok. When the water boils, we'll remove the lid. Then we'll place the plate with the fish on our steaming rack. I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, head on over to patreon.com slash madewithlao to learn more. After 12 minutes of steaming, we're ready to uncover the wok. Ah, 
With the water drained, we'll put our shredded ginger and green onions on the top of the fish. Then we'll need to walk again for the next important step. We'll pour out the water that's still in the wok. Now we'll heat the wok on high. We'll add two tablespoons of oil and spread it around the wok. After the oil is hot and shimmering, or after about one minute, we're ready. We'll pour the hot oil directly over the fish, flash cooking all of our aromatics instantly. We'll also pour one tablespoon of sesame oil over the fish. Finally, we'll pour the soy sauce that we made earlier all over the fish with a spoon, making sure it's all covered. We'll add a bit more fresh cilantro on top for garnish and we're ready to serve it. But first, we'll quickly go over the steps to debone and prepare the fish for easier eating. First, we'll remove the garnish on top and put it aside. Then we'll cut along the back of the fish and remove the top layer of meat and skin, exposing the spine. We'll gently lift up and remove the spine with a fork or chopsticks. If the fish is cooked through, the meat should not stick to the bone. Next, we'll separate the smaller sections with bones at the top, but keep it on the plate since those parts still have meat in them. You would usually do this at the dinner table and then it would be ready for anyone to grab as much bone-free fish as they desired. Oh. 姜葱蒸魚真的很好吃的希望大家喜歡姜葱蒸魚很好吃的很甜會有一個別人一個很容易煮的一個感覺的妹妹姐妹美美美美美美美美美美美美美美美美美美美美美美美美美美美美美美美